Hey First Teams, I'm Brian with Actabotics and I want to sh talk a little bit about linear ball bearings. Now of course I'm going to show you just basically one example is going to be the 8 millimeter ball linear ball bearings. Of course everybody knows the linear ball bearings that we offer can run on 8 millimeter shaft or 12 millimeter shaft but run very very smooth. But one thing we want to share with everybody out there is that what we found out when you utilize our 8 millimeter or 12 millimeter linear ball bearings is the fact that they work much much better when you double them up just like this. So let me show you an example here. So. Basically, we have our 15 millimeter clamp. Now, of course, we offer various 15 millimeter clamps. So I've just got one, one version here. Now, what you want to do is you want to double stack the bearings just like this. So you want to basically, well, slide both of them onto your shaft. Bring your clamp just like this. Put it right in the middle, just like that. Now what you have is, a, it, it just from a smoothness standpoint, from a rigidity standpoint, it's much, much greater. Um, you can actually put a lot of side force on it, perpendicular force on it. Very, very smooth. So, but anyway, that's just one tip that we wanted to give all the FTC teams out there that are building robots and especially linear slides for the robot for the competition this year. So, like I said, just double stack those ball bearings, mount them in your clamp halfway along the base or halfway along the or along the middle I should say clamp them down and you're good to go so what can you do when you build something utilizing linear slides or linear ball bearings I've got a couple examples here so this version here actually has the eight an eight millimeter shaft inside now of course you can build them any different length you want depending on how high you want to go or how far you want to reach out you basically can see here we have the linear ball bearings we've got them double stacked inside and creates a very nice smooth linear motion. Now of course setting them up inside you're going to get a little bit of wiggle back and forth. Now you can take the same setup and stack them so you can have one opposing one another or one sandwiched right in beside it and it's going to take out all that wiggle room. So that's an inherent issue you're going to have when you're running one shaft and one ball bearing in line or two ball bearings in line. So another example is this version right here that actually runs the ball bearings or the linear ball bearings in uh, uh, pr parallel to one another and run a dual on either side of the channel. So once again, it, this creates a very smooth setup. The nice thing about running them this way is it creates a very rigid, there's actually no play, side to side play whatsoever. And it gr gives you the option to run your pulleys or your various drive systems in order to extend it or retract it. And so that's one of the things that we, we're not necessarily going to show you how to do that. There's lots of different ways to be able to run pulleys down through the channel or on the externally on the outside of the channel. But um, as you can see here, we've got our double stacked eight millimeter ball linear ball bearings. We've got our eight millimeter shaft clamp on the outside. And of course, very, very smooth linear action. And you've got the entire space down the middle of the channel, the center of the channel to run your pulleys, your gears, your chain, whatever you'd like to do. So anyway, that's just one tip from all of us at Actobotics on how to utilize or best utilize some of our linear ball bearings. If you have any questions, please be sure to email us at tech at Servo City. And we'll be back uh, with some future tips later on.